Welcome along to today's update video and today we're going to be looking at the oil cooling system which we installed previously in the previous video. Now if you remember in the other video we installed the new oil filter housing with oil cooler takeoffs, then installed the oil cooler here and a power steering cooler down here. Well, that's been changed slightly so the oil cooler has now been moved to the bottom with the pipework on top this will completely eliminate any air traps within the oil cooler which I was a bit worried about and the power steering cooler has been changed so instead of using the X5 transmission cooler I've decided to use a Mokul 15 row cooler which is the same as the oil cooler I've got installed and I've installed that up here where any air traps in the system won't have a detrimental effect as the power steering system is essentially just a pump. What I've done is fill this with ATF Dextron 3 to prime it, then filled the header tank with Dextron 3, taken the belt off the auxiliary drive system, then inserted a Torx bit into the centre of the power steering pump as can be seen here then attached it to a drill and this allows us to prime the system using the drill then that completely primes the power steering system ready for when the engine is turned on again and removes any trapped air within the cooler and allows the level to be topped up correctly. The unions on the power steering cooler are identical to those of the oil system. 7 8 GIC fitting to a half inch flexible pipe which is designed to carry transmission fluids and other heavy oil so it won't deteriorate over time with heat or the power steering fluid itself. I had these made up at Pertec, weren't the cheapest but you have to go with what you've got when it's available on your doorstep and they were on a, took them about 10 minutes to make so it wasn't too bad. So we've got them made up and fitted, rooted and protected as required anywhere where this sharp edge is as previously said use a piece of old heater hose wrap round the pipe then secure with a cable tie then that will stop it rubbing on the hydraulic pipe and causing it to split and also secure your pipes with cable ties where possible to any fixtures and fittings as once the bumper is refitted you won't be able to get access to any of this without taking the bumper back off. Now we've got the front bumper refitted, all the cooler is securely bolted in, nut tops secured, extended bolt heads are uh, trimmed down, headlights back in and the oil cooler fits perfectly behind the lower grill. We've also fitted the cool induct for the air induction system as well and convoluted tube goes straight to the air filters and provides cold air directly through the front bumper. I hope that this little update video was interesting for you. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and give this one a like if it helped. Ask any questions then I'll hopefully get in touch with you with some answers. If anybody's interested in the power steering cooling relocation kit then that's something that I might put to market. It depends on interest as having quite a few of these sat around on a shelf at home isn't financially viable for me. The next video that will be coming up is how to quickly and easily bleed your clutch hydraulic system up as this is one thing that always seems to be forgotten when people change the brake fluid. So thank you for watching and keep an eye out in the future for that video.